In this video I want to show you how to implement the Horizon of React app. And the first question is obviously why do we want to put a React application in the Docker container? It might not have that much sense for the local development, but when we're deploying our project to some server, we want to isolate all our dependencies inside the container. In this case, we're sure that nothing will break, that we won't have any version problems between different projects when you need the same library but with the different versions. And Docker is the most popular tool nowadays to implement that in projects of any complexity. This is why the goal of this video is to pack a React application with an API that it will use to the Docker container, so you can easily deploy it to the production on any machine. If you are using macOS or Windows, you must install a Docker desktop application and this is how it looks like. If you are on Linux, it is enough to install Docker and Docker Compose. Now let's have a look on our project. As you can see, I have a Docker Compose file, which is completely empty. This is where we will set up the whole Docker configuration to prepare our project. Additionally, I have here a server folder with index.js. This is the minimal express project that you can imagine. And here we have an API on slash todos, which returns for us an array of todos that we need to render. And most importantly, the port here is 3005. Here I also created a docker file where we must define how this server project must be built. Additionally, we have a client folder, which is our React application. Here inside source in the app, we are fetching data from localhost 3005 slash todos and we are rendering them on the screen. And additionally here I created a docker file where we will set up how we need to build our client service. So this is our configuration. We have two folders for client server. Docker compose is where the whole configuration goes and how we are building the server and the client we are specifying in these docker files. So first of all, let's start with the server because it is easier. We can jump to the docker file and say what image we need to use. This is why we can write from node 18 alpine. It means that our build will use the image of Linux with node 18. Alpine means that it will use a super minimalistic version, so our image is really small. I highly recommend you to not use here words like latest or stable, but specific versions. In this case, you are sure that it will never break. After this, we must create a working directory. And typically we can just create slash app and it will be our root directory inside this project. Now we want to copy files and here we are copying our package dot star dot json to dot. What it means, it will copy two files, package json and package log json inside our app folder. After this we must run npm install. And the last step here is to run copy and to copy all files. And here you might ask, okay, but why we are writing copy first, then npm install and then copy again? Why can't we just copy all files inside our app? And the reason is that Docker will cache every single step that you can see here. So it won't be called every single time when you are changing your source code. So npm install will be called only when package.json or package lock are changed and not every single time. Our docker file to build an API is completely ready. We can start using it inside our docker compose. So here let's provide a version which is 3.8 and here we are creating several services that we want to set up. In our case it is server and client. This is why let's create first of all services and our first service we can name server. Now inside we want to build our image, this is why here we will call our server folder because its docker file is lying inside. After this we want to expose our ports, here we can provide that we want to map our 3005 port to the outside on 3005. This is this port inside index.js, but the main point is that by default it is only available inside docker container, but we want to use it outside on our local machine. And the last one here is the command that we want to call. In our case it will be npm run start. It is already fine, now we can write docker compose up minus minus build, which will build our image and start our application. 
Here we can see that it executed steps like copying package JSON, running npm install, and copying all our files. Which actually means as a result of this we are getting an image that we are using. And here we can see that we started this image and we are getting a container and our server is running inside the container. Which actually means now we can jump to localhost 3005 slash todos and we are accessing our API with list of todos. So our survey is completely ready, but you must understand that we didn't do anything regarding changes that we are doing to the files. If I'm changing something inside index.js in server, we will see changes only after we restart our docker compose app. This is because we are doing here a production build and not a development environment. Our next step here is to configure our client. So let's jump to the docker files and do similar stuff. First of all, we will use here node 18, alpine, but here we will write as builder. What is builder? This is a possibility to do multi-staged builds, which actually means we are doing a first build, we are building our files there, but then we don't really need all that files like node modules, for example. We just need an output of our build React project and nothing else which actually means we will take just these files and use them in the new build. So here again we can say working directory slash app. We also want to copy our package JSON again with star. So we are also copying our package log. Then we are running npm install to install all dependencies and we are copying all our files. After this we want to build our React application. This is why here npm run build. And here what I want to write after is from nginx. And actually, as you can see, this was our first build and this is our second build. And here we are not using a node as our image, we are using nginx. Why nginx? Because something must serve our application, which is actually static files. And then nginx can easily do that. So this is our new build and now we are using copy command. We are writing here from builder. And this is exactly this builder that we specified on the top. And here will be slash app slash test and we are copying it to user slash share slash nginx slash html. Also I see here a small typo, it is npm run build, not builder. So what this line with copy does, it copies all our files from app dist from this build to this new image. And the last command that we want to execute here is nginx minus g daemon off to start nginx. Again, we could execute this command inside our docker compose just like we did it here in the same way. I just wanted to show you how it is also possible to execute a command when we are creating a docker file. This is exactly the same. So most importantly, what we are getting inside our client, we are getting a new image in Jinx with just build files here, nothing else. So all this stuff like source files, package log and node modules are not there. We are just using our dist folder. Now we can jump inside our docker compose and create here a client service. So here again, we need to build our folder, which will be client. And here are our ports and what we want to expose here is 8080 port and we want to map it to 80. So 8080 is the port that we want to have on our local machine and 80 is the port of Nginx inside the docker. This is everything that we need to do. Now we can restart docker compose up with minus minus build. As you can see here, we are getting an error from the client that nginx is not found. Let's have a look on the code. Probably I made some typo. Let's try to write everything in double quotes and see if it helps. So after this, we must restart again our docker compose app. As you can see now, we don't have any errors. We can see some logs from the client and from the server and everything looks just fine which actually means we can jump to the browser, open localhost 8080, and here is our React application. We have here a button with some state and we rendered here a list of our items which we got from the network. 
As you can see here, when we are reloading the page, you can see that we are making a request on localhost 3005 slash to do's, which works just fine. So now our application is fully prepared to be running in any Linux environment, which actually means if you want to deploy it to production, you can rent a Linux server, install the Docker and Docker Compose, then just push all your changes that we did here on GitHub, and then on your server, you simply can write git pull, to pull all your latest changes, and after this you can run docker compose app minus minus build. And typically on production you will do it in detached mode, so minus D, because you don't want a hanging process inside your terminal. Now your project don't have any dependencies, everything is packed inside, and you are sure that it will work on any Linux machine. And if you are interested to learn Docker and Docker Compose even deeper, I highly recommend you my course Docker Compose that you can check here on YouTube.